So in this case, we are going to continue with our algebraic expressions, but this time, this is a typical exam question. How are they going to ask you questions on these algebraic expressions where you need to simplify? So we are given on question 2.2, simplify 2.21. This is what you're given in the first place. So as you simplify your algebraic expressions, also you must consider the laws of exponents. Remember, when working the laws of exponents, if you are multiplying the bases, which are the same, you can consider adding the exponents, you're dividing, you subtract the exponents. So let's see what is happening in the numerator there on top. There is a P and also a P that we are given of the different powers. That is, the, I mean, of the same powers, which is not an effect. What is important is that it is P and P. So if you consider that this is of P and this is of P, what are you going to do? You are going to add exponents, the four and the four together. So four plus four was going to be eight. And also consider the part of Q. You do the same thing. That is the five plus two, which is a seven. Everything over what? Q to the exponent of a six. So there we do the same thing. The part of Q is the same. So this is same as we've got P to the exponent of eight. Then this is going to be Q to the exponent of seven minus six. We are dividing the bases, which are the same, subtract the exponents. So that's seven minus six, which is a one. So we've got P to the exponent of eight, Q to the exponent of a one, which is same as Q to the exponent of one like that, which is Q. So it's P to the exponent of eight Q like that. So the laws of exponents should be applied whenever it is applicable. We still consider our laws of exponents. That's why, uh, that is why I was saying revise also your term to work. Do not neglect your end to work. It still plays a role. The same part on this, these are algebraic terms that we are given, but we need to consider the laws of exponents as we are to expand these brackets, as we are to remove these brackets that we are given. So let's see what we have. Remember, this is just a product. The bracket simply means you're multiplying. It's like this, minus 8x to the exponent of 4y squared times 5x to the exponent of 3y to the exponent of 4 times again, minus two is simply a product times bracket. So you multiply the numbers. The, the numbers can be multiplied. Minus eight times five times a minus two. You can do that on your calculator. Minus eight times a five, which is minus 40 times a minus two, which is going to give us a positive 80. So this is going to be positive 80. Then let's consider the part of X. Since everything is under multiplication, x to the exponent of 4, x to the exponent of 3, there is also an x here, which is same as x to the exponent of a 1. We can add exponents. So that is going to be x to the exponent of 4 plus a 3 plus a 1. You add exponents. The part of y on its own, again, so we have to consider the part of y here. There is y to the exponent of 2, y to the exponent of 4. The bases are the same. So you must consider adding of the exponents 2 plus 4, which is a 6, or just add 2 plus 4, like that, all right? So let's simplify. That is 80x to the exponent of 4 plus 3, which is 7, plus 1, which is 8. Then y there, if you add 2, plus four, that is a six. So this is what you're going to have at the end if you combine uh, that. So as you are to add, as you are to simplify whatever that you have, consider also the laws of exponents if they are to be applied. Number 2.23 we are given, simplify again. So there we have to consider the first part, there is a bracket. All right, that's 2.23. We are given minus 5 into the bracket of 2x squared plus x minus 20 plus, that is 12x squared plus 3x. So if you are to consider, we have got the minus 5 to expand everything 
inside of the bracket distribute by minus five. So you must multiply everything that you are given by this negative five, everything inside of the bracket. So negative five times two, that's negative 10 X squared, negative five times X, that is a one. So it's negative five times one, which is negative five X, negative five and a negative 20. So it's simply five times 20, which is 100 plus uh, 12 X squared plus three X. This part is not inside the bracket. So you're just gonna rewrite as it is. But after that, you can consider collecting of the like terms so that you can add or subtract where you have got the like terms, meaning to say you must consider the terms of X squared on their own, same X and same power. Then you also consider the part of X on its own then we have got a constant of 100 also considered on its own. All right, so let's add, uh, there we are supposed to collect like 10, but you can simply add minus 10 plus a 12. You add that, that is going to be positive 2x squared. All right, you move on to the part of x. This is minus 5 plus a 3, minus 5 plus a 3, which is a minus 2, but there is x. So it is going to be minus 2x and a 100 to be considered uh, as it is, there's nothing to add to this 100. So it is just gonna remain as it is. All right, so that was three marks for that. Then 2.24, again, simplify this. Collect like terms, we have got like terms. So in this case, if you have to consider there is a 12p, considered to the minus 5p, these are like terms, there is a 3q and a minus 6q. So there we can simply collect our like terms. So meaning to say this is going to be what? 12p minus 5p. So it's 12 minus a 5, considering the coefficient. And that is going to be a 7p. The part of q, there is 3q and minus 6q. So we're going to subtract 3 minus 6. 3 minus 6 which is minus three, but having a Q. So like that, we are done. There's nothing that we can do from there. All right, 2.25, again, considering this, uh, remember, we do understand that if you're given something of this nature, uh, let's say two to the exponent of three, it means two times two times two, three times three times three times, the number of times that you're given is the exponent. But we can also use the laws of exponents in the simplification as well. This is simply means a negative, whatever that you have here will be raised to the exponent of three, everything inside. So this is the same as we've got minus two raised to the exponent of three. A is also raised to the exponent of three. The B to the exponent of two is also raised to the exponent of three, everything. So remember, a negative, when raised to an odd power, it remains as a negative. So 2 to the exponent of 3 is 8. Or you can multiply negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. How many times? 3 times. So that's 1, 2, 3. So you're going to multiply negative to a negative. That's a positive 4 times a negative 2. Positive to a negative. That's a negative 4 times 2 which is eight. So it's going to be a negative eight. Or you can just use this concept that we applied here. Then uh, on this part, we have got a, which is raised already to the exponent of three. This a is already raised to the exponent of three. So it's just going to remain as it is. Then what about this? b to the exponent of two raised to the exponent of three. It simply means there is b squared times b squared times b squared. So there we're gonna add add this exponent. So it's b to the exponent of two plus two plus two, which is b to the exponent of six. Well, what can you simply do on this simplification? When there's an exponent and an exponent like that, simply multiply these exponents just like that. So it'll be b to the exponent of two times three, which is a six, as simple as that. So an exponent and an exponent can multiply each other, or you can use the other way around. So as you can see, 
These are your typical exam questions that you need to revise, work with, so that you prepare yourselves for the exams which are ahead of time.